it's a blue sky kind of day and I am ready to get to work. I gotta unload the van with all these supplies, but I thought I might start the day with a little confession. And that is that uh, if you watched the last video where I was working on the running board and kind of left it hanging, I wish I'd left it hanging, then it would be installed, but I didn't. I left the project hanging and I have to admit, sorry, this bird flew right by. Um, I am going to admit defeat on that one, at least for a little while. If I had known how difficult it was going to be to get those bolts in and those brackets mounted correctly, I would have just hired somebody. I honestly, from reading the directions, thought it was going to be, yeah, maybe two hours tops. Just drill some holes, bolt those brackets in, hang the running board, and I'd be done. And I was finding it much, much more difficult than that. So another just little unexpected surprise of the van build process. And I realized that just at the time that I have, since I am on a schedule, I do have to be back in Atlanta in, well, three weeks from today. I've got a doctor's appointment there, so I gotta get back for that. And I'm also gonna be working a little bit more. So anyway, I've got a lot to do in that short amount of time. And I realized that the running board is just not my number one priority. So I'm gonna wait on that for a little bit. And today I'm gonna go ahead and just unload all the stuff that I bought the other day, probably make another trip to Home Depot and Lowe's for a couple more things because every time I turn around, I need something else and just start working on the framing and stuff. I don't have all of the plus nuts that I need. They're on order and some should be here today and some tomorrow, but I can measure and cut the wood and number my planks and get ready from that respect. So I'm going to do that. Sorry about the barking. Somebody wants to say good morning. Hi, Forrest. All right, so that's the plan for today. We'll see how it works out. I'm cleaning up because I like to have a clean workspace, but also because on my forums, somebody chimed in when I was asking about the best bolts to use to go into my plus nuts. They mentioned that stainless steel is not good when it's in contact with galvanized metal that could get wet. When I took the bolts out that are used hello, for the tie downs, um, the heads are kind of rounded and the bolts are pretty short so I replaced them with longer flathead stainless steel screws that go through my floor and fill the holes that these were in. However, I was informed that stainless doesn't play nice with galvanized metal and that what can happen is if this gets wet that rather than the stainless steel rusting the metal under the van would rust. So since I haven't put my floor in yet I still I still have the opportunity to go ahead and pull these out and replace them with these that I countersink or if I can find a similar bolt like this that is zinc coated, I can use that. And I think they have those at Lowe's. So I'm gonna run over there later and get them. I'm also gonna put more cork down because I do have more cork and I did, uh, we've got one solid layer of cork and then several strips of cork to fill in the divots between the ridges. And I've got enough cork that I can cut more and put more strips down when I lift up the floor. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then I will be in good shape with everything the way it should be to start putting my flooring down. However, and this is, <laughs> this is why you need a master project plan or a really good brain for thinking ahead. This is like a chess game, seriously. I can't complete my floor until I switch my battery boxes because I was really creative and put these little cubby holes in, which I like. I did them on that box, but not on that box. And then I decided since the box over on this side is gonna hold the water tank, uh, it doesn't have to have anything in front of it. On this side where the batteries are, I'm gonna put my electrical in front. So I want to switch these two boxes the battery boxes are bolted down with a strap, so I need to take that off. And unfortunately, I'm not strong enough to lift two 75 pound batteries. So the gating factor is that I can't move those just yet, which means I can't lift up the box to switch it, which means I can't finish the floor around this, if that makes sense. So I can start working on the floor once I get those interior underneath repairs done, and I can lay my vapor barrier and I can start doing my planks over there but I need to get some muscles to help with that. And hopefully my son-in-law is gonna be here for the weekend with my daughter and I'm gonna press him into service to help me lift those out. So anyway, I'm finding that a lot of things are, I can't do this until I do that, but I can't do that until I do the other thing and it's a little nutty, but um, I'm getting there. So today is gonna be a lot of prep work. Um, like I said, I don't have the 
plus nuts I need, but I can measure my fairing strips and there's some other things I can do. So if you're willing to go along with the insanity, stick with me. Well, that was the plan for yesterday. Today, yeah, I'm on the floor of my van. It's hot. <laughs> uh, yeah, didn't get very far yesterday. Ran a bunch of errands and other things happened. And I realized that I was super stuck because of my batteries. The batteries were under the wheel well box on that side that I wanted to move to this side. So I didn't know what to do because I don't have muscle here and my son-in-law's coming this weekend, but I didn't want to wait that long. And I discovered, unfortunately, um, well, let me back up. I wanted to replace the bolts under the subfloor because I use stainless and stainless doesn't play all well with galvanized metal, especially when it's wet, which I didn't know. So it really was smart once I learned that to take them up and replace them with something else. But then I couldn't get them up because of the batteries and the battery box. The battery box was going just, if you see the seam there in the plywood, it was covering that. So I could not lift up this piece of plywood. I was able to lift up the front piece and put some more cork under there, but that's as far as I got. So I was thoroughly, thoroughly frustrated and having a poor me party, a pity party for myself. And then when I woke up this morning, I thought, dang, I could use a pulley to lift those up. So I got online before I even got out of bed and I saw that Harbor Freight had a pulley lift system for like 15 bucks and it's designed for lifting game. But I was like, I can use that. And I want to go to Harbor Freight anyway for a couple things. It's, it's about, I don't know, 20 miles away. So it's not, it's not around the corner. Um, so I grabbed my list and I headed out of here early in the morning to get up there. I got the pulley system that you can see up there. I just kind of have it pulled up out of the way right now, but I was able to lift the batteries. And then with my dad's help, we were able to get them down out of the van onto the floor there. And I need to, or onto the ground. I do need to get them out of the sun. So but they are out of the way so I can finish the work that I need to do to switch the battery boxes to fix the floor and possibly even start doing my flooring, which would be pretty darn awesome. So that is my plan for today. I don't know that I'll get the flooring done, but I've already pulled the battery boxes out. I switched the, or the wheel well boxes. I switched the battery boxes on top. I'm getting ready to insulate the second one and then those will be good to go. And then I can start working on here on the floor. All right, I can check this one off the list. I've got two nicely insulated wheel well boxes, and this one now is going to go on the driver's side. It's got the straps for the boxes that will sit on these brackets. And then this one will be on the other side with my water tank on top. And I do need to add a platform for a little bit more support. These boxes, I think, are 10 inches wide. Yeah, they're 10 inches wide. And the water tank is 12, so I need to provide a little bit of additional support since I don't want the tank hanging over the edge and getting some undue wear on the side. I'm pretty excited that today I was able to kind of break through the log jam of moving around stuff in the van. And I've been able to fix the subfloor. At the same time, I added a little extra cork underneath to make a nice smooth walking surface. And now I'm gonna go ahead and put in my vapor barrier. There are lots of different kinds of vapor barriers in this baby here. <laughs> is actually um, something that people might consider it a heavy duty drop cloth. It's three mil plastic that I bought from Lowe's and I'm gonna go ahead and roll it out. I'm gonna use my staple gun to attach it around the perimeter of my subfloor and then I'll trim it to fit. And the reason that I'm doing this is because the laminate that I bought does have a waterproof install. It includes a vapor barrier and then also, I think they call it backer rod. It's like a foam tube that you put around the perimeter. You leave like about three eighths of an inch all the way around. Shove that in the, the gaps that allow expansion and contraction, but then also fill that with silicone after you put the backer rod in. And that makes it waterproof so that if something does spill, that it won't seep down below the floor and cause mold and mildew and other icky, sticky things. Losing time, I'm fading fast. I just want to make it last. Try to let go of the past. I close my eyes, embrace the blast. Sleepless nights and headache stack. Restlessness to hell and back. What's my purpose? What do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack. And sometimes you just gotta believe. Now, I had not planned to do my flooring right now. I was going to work on the walls. But if I get the flooring done, 
then I can go ahead and get my electrical installed with the wheel well box sitting on top of the floor, which is what I'd originally planned, and also my water tank. And I exchanged that and got a smaller one um, that will sit on top of the wheel well box on the passenger side. So that came today. So I feel like I'm finally in a place where I can start to make some visible changes in the van. So I'm gonna go ahead and start working on the floor. And I do have um, a floor protectant to put down so that I hopefully won't tear up the floor while I'm doing the rest of the construction. And that was a tip that I'd heard from other people is like, don't do your floor right away because you're gonna tear it up. But I did buy some floor protectant and I also have some brown construction paper that I can put on top of it, uh, builder paper. So I think with those two layers of protection, once the floor is in, it'll be pretty good shape for me to do the construction of the walls and start building cabinets. Oh my God, building cabinets. That <laughs> seems like it's such a dream. I'm not there yet, but I'm getting close. I'm really excited. It's been a good day.